A lot of you guys might recognize where I am right now. It might look kind of familiar. And if it doesn't look familiar yet, maybe this might look a little bit familiar. I'm currently sitting in a Fast and Furious Mitsubishi Eclipse replica of, obviously, Paul Walker's Eclipse that we saw in the original Fast and Furious movie. This is the closest thing I've ever seen to a real replica. Hector's signature right here. To be honest, I can't read anyone else's signature, but I'm sure this is all the cast of Fast and Furious written on the dash. And exterior wise, this is the closest I have seen that looks exactly like it did in the movie. Everything down to the modern image logo on the hood, to even the fake laptop with the warning danger to manifold in the passenger seat, which of course is from the scene when he drag races and the car has an issue and he looks over and he tells the computer to shut up and he slams it. That's amazing. So the reason why this car is here today is because Throttle just gave away their Evo. And as I told you guys, if you didn't enter their giveaway, shame on you. The hey, winner is actually here today. Enter the next Next one, boys. What's the owner's name of the evil who just won? Jesus. Actually, here, why don't you tell him what you guys did? Sung Kang came down and he helped lift the sheet and reveal the car. So we like surprised the owner with not only with an Evo, not only with a Fast and Furious replica car, but also Sung Kang totally surprised and walked out from the kitchen and was like, It was really amazing. He's like, Take the blue key. Uh, the blue Evo is yours, let's just say. So Sung Kang came out and he's like, The blue Evo is yours. And for those who haven't car. seen Tokyo Drift, you probably don't know what we're talking about, but they pretty much recreated a scene where in the movie, Han Toss the key to Sean as his drift car to go against DK. So they kind of like recreated that scene, it was awesome. And then one of Sung's friend, which is Han in the movie, uh, Sahar brought down that eclipse right there, which was really cool as like a little bonus feature. It was really awesome, I thought I got to do that. If not entering their giveaways, just screwing up. I'll put the link to their video down below if you guys want to see that reenactment. In honor of Sung coming down today, I took out the FD because we're gonna film some stuff with this car today. But before we get to that, this is the owner of the eclipse. I'll put his Instagram on screen so you guys can go check that out because you not only have one replica you have how many uh three, three. so you have the fd you have the I eclipse have the FD from the first movie the red dom Toretto's rx7 i have the too fast too furious tyrese this is a purple spider and i have this one the paul walker that started it all because i wanted to do something for paul and i wanted to keep him alive i wanted to keep the memory of him and that's, that's what got me into those cars do you know how accurate this is to the one that was in the movie? 90% done. It's missing the roof scoop. Yeah, the wheels are chrome instead of uh, like... Uh, Aren't they just like normal, like a flat gray or yeah, something in the movie? Yeah, it's supposed to be like you flat gray. Um, but right yeah, I got the wing, I got the body kit, I got the nitrous tanks, I got the seats, I got the steering wheel, I got the seat belts, I got the shift knob, I got the pedal covers. I just spent the last like, I don't know, two to three hours talking with Sung. Uh, Sung is uh, the guy who played Han from Fast and Furious and I literally feel like he's my dad because I've literally spent so much time talking to him. I'm done fangirling because I was like fangirling really hard for the first like two hours. Dude, he's he's so cool. We were, we were pulling, wait, this is actually a funny story. We were pulling in and he drives the G-Wagon. Yeah. But it has a sticker across it that says student driver and I was like, damn, saw a student driver driving a G-Wagon? And Alicia goes, no, that's Han. So, and then she's like, wait, that's not his name. That's his company. <laughs> Hey, can you sign the dash of the Evo? Absolutely, yeah. Two out of every three males need to listen up for the next 60 seconds because this video is talking to you. By the time a male reaches the age of 35, two out of three of them will experience pattern baldness. In the olden days, you'd have to go to the doctors, meet in person, wait in line, set up an appointment just to find out that you need medication for your hair to grow back. But now you don't need to with Keeps. They have medication that gets delivered right to your home and you can do everything from the comfort of your own home. You can even meet and speak with a doctor from your computer and get everything prescribed so you never have to go to a doctor's office or go have any awkward interaction. I'm currently growing out my lettuce right now so I can get a good flow for the winter and I would never want to lose that, which is why you should be using Keeps. And for a limited time, if you go to keeps.com forward slash hunt, you could save off the 50% your first order. So guys, don't lose your hair or don't watch someone lose their hair. Hook them up with Keeps and save up the 50% off your first order. Thank you so much for Keeps for partnering with us and keeping our hair on our heads. Now let's get back to today's video. So Jesus just won this car. He's like been on the phone calling all of his friends for the past like two hours and uh, he's having everyone sign it, which is pretty cool. We need a new marker or is it good? Um, 
the markers, the markers are right. So right now I'm in line to get my Hot Wheels Datsun 240. You know what this of? Oh my god, I've been waiting in line all day. Dude, you know this when we saw Casey Neistat. <laughs> oh yes, no, but when we went to SEMA and he was having his first like meet and greet signing, we went in line and like it was like 300 people long, and so we left. But that just what brought this back right now. So right, about so four I, look at, look years at the ago. Year. No, look at the year. 2014. So six years ago. That is Kevin. With Sung himself. Oh, oh, can you send that photo to me? This one? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Dude, this is 2014. So yeah, I gained about 30 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your number one fan. I'll take it. You know That's funny? a lie, but I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go frame it. I'm gonna go put it in my bedroom. There's this scene from Tokyo Drift where Han and Sean pull up to this sumo wrestling house and no. Yes, there's a sumo. It's not a, a sumo wrestling house, it's a bathhouse. Sorry, a bathhouse. And the sumo wrestler owes Han 30 gram. So they pull up in the end, he tells Sean to go inside and get the money for him. Then he gets thrown out, but he gets the money. Here's the scene I'm talking about if you haven't seen it. There's a guy in there with a paw that owes me some money. A paw? Who gave me my money? Okay. The inner child in me really wants to recreate that, so I asked Sung, he's like, yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna do our best to recreate it really, really quickly. We're gonna do it on a phone though, so it's in like a TikTok uh, format, on Instagram format, so it's, so we can post it on Instagram. And it would just look a lot better filming on the phone than we're on the camera. The lines are, we're gonna roll up, okay. we're gonna turn off the car, okay. and then you're gonna be like, there's a guy inside with a paw that owes me some money. Now I'm gonna be like, a paw? And then you just look at me and you go, go get the money. There's a guy in there with a the paw that owes me some money. Yeah. Go get the money. You sound go just like him. Wow, that's yeah. very good. That was really good. Was you, you sound really good as Justin like Lin, too. Really? No. Do, I, do you want me to show you it on the laptop so you see your facial expressions? No. no. <laughs> Are you sure? Do you remember that line at all? I'll make it happen. Okay. So we'll probably film it a few different ways. But you said it like this. You said it like this. Let me give you the inspiration. Okay. okay? Ready? It was like this. You're gonna, you're gonna tell him. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you how to do it because you don't remember. It goes. <clears throat> There's a guy in there with a paw that owes me some money, and you look kind of mad. And I'm gonna be like, a paw? And then you go like, you're just like you're just fed up with me. And then you go, go get the money. Yeah, exactly. There's a guy in there with a paw that owes me some money. Exactly. A paw? A paw? And then you go go get the money and then I'll be like okay and then like I just get out and then we'll film me getting out from like here and then that's it okay, we pull up to yeah the light. we're gonna pull up to the light so it's a little bit more but the guy with the paw owes me some money and then he goes so by so I'm here so like I'm here yes, yes, yes. guy with some uh, guy with the paw owes me some money and then I can kind of go back here and then you, you're 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 coming in closer and then boom and I'll be like a paw yeah and then you pull back, and then I go, and just go give him my fing money. Right? Yeah. Oh, yes. But I wouldn't be able to get his audio if I'm back out here. Well, no, you're, my, in. You, you're in because when I say paw, the camera's in. And then after I say paw, uh, you back out, and then Sung. I'm backing out. And then when Sung says his last line, line, just go give, my, go, go give me my money, the phone is pulling out push, as push he out. says it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. okay. We're going to have to battle these jets as they come over, too. Yeah. We'll, we'll practice it from the top. Yeah. Okay, I'll go after we'll, you. We'll do it. Okay, ready? There's a guy in there with a paw that owes me some money. A paw? And then, and then we'll cut scene of me getting out. Okay. okay. I didn't like my energy on a paw, so I'll have to bring it up next time. We also got a train horn. Yeah. Or, let's practice. Let me get, let me get some sun so cheeks. So it should be full frame yeah. here on my face. So it should be like this. So, so you're starting here, that's me, right? It's like there's a guy in there that, with a paw that owes me some money. And then it goes to him. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. A paw? And it, he goes, he, so you're on him, and he's gonna say puss, so you're already moving back. And then it's like, just go okay, get in my pocket. I see what you're saying. That's it's good. like this, it's like that. Okay, okay? perfect. Okay. It's a guy in there with a paw that owes me some money. A paw? He's giving me my fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, but I can't that. <laughs> that was pretty good. A paw? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Yo, we have Sabrina's face in the back. Yeah, Sabrina, Sabrina, can you scooch over a little bit? A paw? Look at my fucking Ooh! Damn! 
good job, so guys. good. Yeah. I'm a bad actor, but that was, that was <laughs> fucking great. Learned some great things. I'm over there and you're getting out. I think I get out in that scene though. Like you go, go give me my fucking money and then no. it comes back in. Yeah, because it shows him getting out from here. And then it cuts to him on the on a, on the outside of me walking into the house. No. There's a guy in there with a paw that owes me some money. A paw? Go get my fucking money. All right, we just finished filming it. Sung literally was like giving us like tips on how to film it, which was awesome. And it's like really weird to hear him talk like that because it sounds like Han, but he's, but I, I don't know how to explain it. It's so awesome. I'm like geeking out. I can't wait to see that footage. That was so sick. What the fuck just happened today? I think almost the whole entire beginning of the video was me just freaking out and fangirling. Which I'm not ashamed of because growing up Fast and Furious is what really like sparked my interest with cars and Tokyo Drift is my favorite movie and in that movie Han was like like the main character that you love like he is like the guy so for me that's like probably one of the like craziest like people or like if you were to ask me who I'd really want to meet from like growing up as like always watching as like the hero character like it would have been him it wouldn't it's not Superman or Batman or I don't know any of that type of stuff it'd be like Han Fast and Furious. So today I had the opportunity to spend the whole entire day with him and honestly, I spent like nine hours with him today and only filmed on this camera with him for maybe like six or seven minutes because I was honestly just selfish and I didn't really want to film too much because I was just enjoying conversation. I had multiple beers just hanging out today and what's crazy and what I really want to like talk about really quick before I end this video is he's the most genuine, nicest, person I have ever met. Not that I wasn't expecting that, but just to see that was just so inspiring and was just so fresh and was just beautiful to see. We talked a lot of things from life experiences to cars. He told us like little secrets from the movies and on set. He never even liked the RX-7. He hated the Veil Slide kit and wanted it to be like a 68 or like a 69 Fastback. And he never really understood why that car was so cool. He is a car guy. You know, he's a hobbyist of cars, but he's not like a, you know, you know, I don't expect this. He's not like, he can't like rebuild a motor. He's not a mechanic, but you know, he's an actor that got to play an actor who liked cars and stuff was in the car world. But it was just really cool to, to talk to him in that light and to see that, but then also have that transcribe into life experiences and, and, and the world of acting and agencies and learning how to trust certain people and do certain things about this. And just the information he had to share was so genuine. And he's just such a welcoming person. To see that from someone who I always looked up to and you know the saying, never meet your hero. That stereotype has never been like smashed and just so destroyed it ever. Like I couldn't have never have imagined that from him. And when we were like, I felt so bad asking him to like, you know, make a TikTok with him or like post a photo with him or like having him recreate all those like Fast and Furious scenes or whatever. I felt so bad asking that, but he was so willing and don't wanted nothing out of it. Like he, he didn't, like, I thought he was gonna come just for like an hour, do that like scene with Throttle, but he stayed forever and was like, would ask me, hey, like, do you wanna do that again? Like, well, let's redo it or like, Hey, let's let's film a few extras just to make sure we really got like what you wanted and like was giving us like tips on like because he's an actor for in Hollywood for years and years and years and years so he like, was giving us tips on like reshoot it this way like I, I think it'd be better if, like you it was just so welcoming and kept asking like do you need more from me and I'm like dude you don't even need to do any of this like I'm the one that's like freaking out I feel like I'm I feel like you shouldn't be doing this I feel like I should be like paying you out to do this and that was just so inspiring and, and refreshing to see someone like that not that like there's people that I've met that are like of that level of fame or whatever and they've been assholes but just the how welcoming and how well we got along and how friendly he was and just it was amazing and be able to share that with you and just film a couple of extra clips and recreating scenes was just, if this video isn't a piece of evidence, just to the slightest, that you can achieve anything you want if you go after it and you believe in yourself, I don't know what is. I never thought that day would happen. And the fact that I consider him a friend after today and we have plans later this week to go watch FD together and we have all these like, ideas and stuff that we wanna do in the future is crazy. I would never have expected that ever.
ever. Today's video is a little treat. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Getting to recreate some of those scenes was like literally made my inner child explode and I'm still geeking out a little bit. So I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta square that away. I gotta, I gotta calm down. Don't forget that Hunt Company has a winter collection dropping December 1st with over a million new things. I can't wait for it. Drops December 1st, 9 a.m. winter collection. You'll get it before Christmas if you order it right when it drops. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and keep moving forward.